guys, this is Teacher SP and welcome back to my channel. So, for today's lesson, I'm going to discuss about the law of sine and the law of cosine. So, ano po ba ang kaibahan ng law of sine and law of cosine? So, if you're taking uh, the subject of spherical trigonometry, this is good for you. And uh, if you are interested in this video, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and Tap the notification bell so that you'll be updated for whatever videos I'm going to upload. So, if you're ready, let's begin! So, okay guys, I have here the law of sign. When we are talking about the law of sine in any spherical triangle, A, B, C, the sine of the sides A, B, and C are proportional to the sines of the opposite angle A, B, and C respectively. So when we're talking about the small letters here, we're talking about the sides and kapag big letter, pinag-usapan po natin ito po ay angle na po. So ibig sabihin, Itong side na ito is equal, proportion to your side B, and proportion of side C. Itong angle na ito ay proportion sa angle B at proportion po sa angle C. And we are talking about the spherical triangle. So, this is our formula for the law of sine. When we are going to apply our formula in our example here. So, our example number one a spherical triangle ABC with side A. So, our side A is equal to 80 degrees, side B is equal to 70 degrees, and angle A is equal to 65 degrees. And we are looking for the angle B. So, when you are looking for the formula, ibig sabihin, meron po tayong side A, meron po tayong angle A, meron po tayong side B, Pero wala po tayong angle B. So, ibig sabihin, itong apat na ito ang kukunin po natin. Okay, now, we are going to derive the formula. So, side A, so using the law of sine already, sine angle A is equal to side B, sine angle B. So, alam po natin, class, na wala po tayong angle B. So, what are we going to do is, we are going to do the cross multiplication. So, ito po. So, meaning, A times sine angle B equals cross multiply B sine angle A. So, we are looking for angle B, right? So, ang gagawin po natin, we divide both equation by side A and side A. Why? So that we will be able to cancel it. So, sine angle B is equal to, so sa aking given po na side B ay 70 degrees times sine angle A which is equal to 65 degrees over your side A which is 80 degrees. So, ngayon, we are going to use our scientific calculator. Okay, so I have here, if you have your scientific calculator with you, you can follow uh, sa process. Okay, what are you going to do since this is 70 and we are using the law of sine? Everybody, you press sine 70. Okay, sine and then 70 and then the symbol of degree, minutes, and seconds. And after that, close parenthesis and then again, press sine and 65 symbol again, which is six, uh, the degree, minutes, and sec seconds, close parenthesis, and then divided by this sine 80. So, sine 80, symbol na degree, minutes, and seconds, close parenthesis, and after that, equals. Ang lumabas po sa equals dyan ay 0 0.864. After that, you press the shift or the second function. Since we are using the law of sine, then ipipress po natin ang sine, then equals, and then 
Ang lumabas dyan ay 59.85. Okay, so sa change sa decimal niya is equal to 59.858. Pagkatapos nito, you press the symbol which is the degree, minutes, and seconds. So, ang lumabas po dyan, guys, ay 59 degrees, 51 minutes, and 30.96. So, we are going to round it off to uh, second, so minutes lang. So, magiging 52 minutes. The process that I used was also the process when I taught you about the Napier's rule. Okay? So, ito na po yung law of signs. Kung paano i-compute. So, I will give you another example wherein ito naman po yung i-prepare natin yung B over sine angle B equals C over sine angle C. Okay? Okay, guys. So, for our example number two, I have here angle A is equal to 137 degrees and 28 minutes. Angle C is equal to 135 degrees and 44 minutes. And side C is equal to 160 degrees. So, kapag ginamit po natin ang law of sign, ibig sabihin, ito po ay C and paired with C. Angle A, tapos hahanapin itong isa, dalawa, tsaka ito. So, if you're going to write it, A over sine angle A equals C over sine angle C. Ano po yung hinahanap natin? Ang hinahanap natin dyan ay find side A. Yun po yung hinahanap natin. So ngayon, out of this formula, we are going to do the cross multiplication. So, cross multiply A sine angle C equals cross multiply small letter C, C times sine angle A. Since we are looking for the side A, then ang gagawin po natin, i-divide natin ito by sine angle C. So that we will be able to cancel this. So ang maiiwan lang po ay A. Tapos ito na. So isa-substitute na po natin ang given. Ang side C po natin ay 160 degrees times sine angle A which is 137 degrees and 28 minutes divided by sine angle C which is 135 degrees and 44 minutes. So ngayon, using your scientific calculator, so gagawin po natin, i-ano na po natin? Uh, press, okay. Press sine 160 symbol, close parenthesis, And then, sine 137 degrees and 28 symbol, minutes, close parenthesis, divided by sine 135 degrees and 44 minutes, and close parenthesis equals. Ang nagumapas dyan po ay... 0.3312 So, gagawin naman po natin Isi-shift na pan naman po natin And then, press the sign Equals Pagkatapos nun Ay degree, minutes, and seconds So, ang lumabas po dyan, guys Is 19 degrees And 20 minutes So, may seconds pa na 40 So, magiging 21 minutes So, i-ano na pang ninyo, i-round off nyo na lang po ang seconds and minutes. So, ito na po yan. So, uh, that's it. When you're looking for the side, take note. That for the small letters, tinatawag po natin na side at ang big letters, tinatawag po natin na angle. So, thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and tap the notification bell so that you will be updated for whatever videos I'm going to upload. Have a great day, everyone.